What's up, Star Wars fans? Welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. We're going to the Black Series archive line. We're looking at Hoth Luke. A uh, new figure released. Um, it is a repaint of a figure that initially got its first release back in 2014, seven years ago. That is absolutely crazy. Um, so he's got the, he's been given the photo real paint apps. So I will be going over this one in detail. Uh, and compar comparing with the original release, just to see how different he is. Um, from what I can tell, the body is not different at all. Um, just with the photo reel head sculpt. So let's crack it open and take a look. All right, here is Luke Skywalker in his Hoth outfit. Um, I'm just gonna say my first impressions are that this still is not the definitive Hoth Luke. I think they could have uh, gone back to the drawing board with this one a little bit, maybe even the Han Solo that I just reviewed before. Um, I just feel like I could have gone back to the drawing board um, and maybe redid these figures and put them out new. Um, only because those Rebel Hoth soldiers that just came out are just absolutely incredible figures. And yeah, there's just, just still some things with this that are lacking. Um, you know, they're definitely an older, an older sculpt, older figure now. Um, despite the photo reel update. Um, I definitely think this one's lacking a little bit. Um, I still do, just the figure as a whole, um, yeah, definitely has a room for improvement. It does, it still has the swivel gloves, um, where I think swivel wrists would be a lot better. Um, the rest of the body isn't too bad. My archive copy here has a little bit of, uh, extra silver paint in there, which is pretty messy. Um, that's not great. It's a little bit of a bummer. Um, I will show you the head from the original. So the, the photo real paint apps definitely helps. So the intention for this one is because this Luke originally came with the Wampa. And I'm about to show you my little update as well. I did a bit of a custom job on my existing Hoth Luke. Um, so yeah, the, it was meant to be like the battle damage from when he has the... Uh, run with the run in with the Wampa in the cave and he's a bit scratched up and beat up and stuff um, so unfortunately they haven't re-sculpted that head and you get the photo real paint out so you still get this sort of you still get the sculpting uh, of the of the claw marks and the scratches on his face so that's it's a little bit of a bummer it really is um, let alone this like, fabric thing that could have been you know updated lightsaber is the same sort of really sort of flexible floppy stunt one that came with uh it may have even come originally with the hoth luke i can't remember i've uh, switched out this lightsaber so many times over the years i know the uh episode 3 anakin did come with that one as well um but yeah it's just just a little bit sloppy everything else is okay it's not it's not terrible, I just think it needs needs a <laughs> long overdue update. And now we're going to show my custom, which I actually used the parts from one of the Hoth Rebel soldiers to redo his head, as well as an extra face sculpt I had left over from an extra Snowspeeder Pilot Luke. Um, so if you remember the Snowspeeder Pilot Luke, he came with like a uh, sort of the cloth cap uh, thing that goes under the helmet. And this is what I've come up with here. If we go side by side, I think mine is just ever so slightly better, to be honest. Um, is the face sculpt on the one on the right here, which is the custom. The eye paint wasn't actually put on super accurate, so I could actually remove that face and get a better one. Um, but I'll be honest, it looks far better than what it is here. Um, and the fact that it is a snow speeder Luke face, um, you can't really get more accurate than that for closeness to when he's in his Hoth outfit. He also has, you know, the better plastic looking thing here, the better head. You know, they're ever so slightly different. Luke's doesn't have the, uh, the wrap around it, but this one does. So very similar. 
um, and basically what I did is I removed the old head, drilled it out and put the neck and the head of a Rebel Hoth Rebel Trooper in there, glued it all in um, so you still get the range of movement on the ball joint, upper ball joint, <laughs> the head and that still is removable so I'll be honest I think I'm going to stick with my version um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this version yet. I might actually add, add the bloodiness to him and, uh, you know, make him an update of that version. But even then, I'm just going to get rid of that extra silver paint, which is just really, really sloppy. If I had have seen that from them inside the box, I probably would have returned it and switch, switched it over. But, um, that's all right. That's fine. I, uh, went for the purpose of the review, so... I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, don't let <laughs> my negative thoughts, um, you know, they're not overly negative. I do try and find the positives in all these things, but uh, yeah, I definitely feel like this could have been could have been a good reissue in the uh, main line is to get a new version out, more accurate. But I, I am glad that a lot of people that did miss these um, the first time, and it has been seven years since both Luke and Han have come out in their Hoth outfits and they were deluxe, so... They're a bit harder to find, a bit harder to get, so I'm glad some people are getting the opportunity to get these characters now. So yeah, drop a comment below, let me know what you think. Give the video a thumbs up. If you liked it, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. Great. For the, grateful for the support. And uh, yeah, hit the little notification bell so that all my newest uploads come straight to your inbox or pop up on your notifications straight away. So just looking at this, it actually looks good in other light. It looks good in that light there. It looks good. There? Yeah, not so much. <laughs> Alright folks, thank you very much for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.